Hello guys, welcome back. In this video, let's go through Olama Vision. Yesterday, there was a release from Olama version 0.1.23 where they have made some improvements on how Olama handles the multi-modal models. I have already created two different videos before. So if you are completely new to Olama, please refer to these two videos. In the first half of the video, I will be showing you how you can do this in the CLI. And the next one will be using the Olama Wave UI, which is a separate project, but it is integrated with the Olama project, right? In both of these parts, also i will be showing you two different examples one is the object detection use case where we will be providing some image and we'll be asking what is in the image and the next one will be the text recognition we will provide some image with text in it and it will provide us the what is written in that image Let's get started. Okay, so this is the blog post provided by Olama. You can just go through this uh, here, vision models and new lava models, right? We'll be using the lava models and there is the high image resolution, improved text recognition and reasoning capabilities and more permissive licenses, right? As it says here, distributed via the Apache 2 license or the Lama 2 community licenses. And it is in three different flavors, 7B, 13B and 34B. And as I said you before also, I will be showing through the CLI, but there is also the Python and JavaScript if you want to go through that. Or I might create the f in the future how you can uh, how you can use the Python package of Olama, right? You need to make sure that you have Olama installed. How to make sure that? You can just go here and run Olama. It must show something like this, then you are good to go. And the next thing is, once it is installed, you might need to update it. If you have already installed, I hope in your computer, there is also already an update button required. That's what it, it was for me. Otherwise, if you are just downloading, then it will be downloading the latest version. So you can just go here and run V and enter. It's, it should be 0.1.23. Right. I have already installed the Lava model just to not take too much of the time. I run Olama list. It will show me the Lava and Mistral. I'm going to use the Lava. But if you don't have, you can just go here and run Olama, run Lava, and it will download the model for you. I hope this is clear, right? The first one, let's go with the object detection. For that, I have already downloaded the same images that is provided in the Olama documentation. There is the Zuckerberg JPEG. Let me just open that image. This is the image that I am downloading here. And I will be asking questions to this. And the next one, what I will be asking is the, is the image or the text recognition. And that will be using this image where this is the logo of my YouTube channel where it is written data science basics, right? So yeah, let me just go here and first you need to copy the path, right? As it says here, Zuckerberg JPEG, I will first copy the path of that here in the clipboard. This copies the path and I will run here Olama, run Lava, right? It is now running. For, as I said you before also, if you are running this for the first time, you might need to download or it will download the model. I will just go here and now ask, okay, describe, let's say describe this image and then just paste the path of it and enter. So it will now go through that image. As you can see here, the image shows a person is smiling and holding a VR headset above their head. So this is how it shows. That means that multimodal and the response time is quite fast, right? It depends by the way upon your machine but it does not need that that big of a hardware because as as it the as the documentation also says there is the Slama 7b 13b and 34b and and if you go to the uh, github page let me go to the github just to show you because this is crucial because many of you get confused how much of the hardware requirement is needed so as you can see there are different models and it is written here you should have at least 8 gb of ram available to run the 7b models 16 gb to run the 13b models and 32 gb to run the 33b models right? make sure that you have sufficient ram to run these models okay this is how the object detection works right now how to do with the text recognition if you want to now go back of this terminal let's say in the normal terminal place you can just do buy and it will go out right now let me copy the path of the text recognition thing i will do the real path 
and not the Zuckerberg one, but I will go with the data science uh, basics, right? I will copy this one and clear the screen. I will run Olama run Lava. And by the way, you can already provide here also. For example, I can see Olama run Lava. And then what I can do is, okay, what is in this image? And I will paste the link and I will run enter. So as you can see here, you can do it two different things. Once, once you run the Olama run lab or in the same line also. It says that the image displays a logo that deeds data science basics. This suggests that the content within this logo is related to the foundational concepts of data science, data science something, something, right? You get the idea that it is working in, in, in both ways. And the good part of running with this one line is it's, it provides the answer for us and then it goes back to the terminal again. But if you run Olama run Lava, then you can ask multiple questions based on that. Now this is, I hope this is clear and this is the first part of the video. The second part now, let's do the same thing, but in the web UI. For that, what you need to do is you need to install this Olama web UI. As I said you before also, if you are new, please follow the second video that I created about how to install Olama web UI, right? I have already installed that. And if I again go to this GitHub repo, how I can make sure is first, let's say that you need to have the Olama installed. That's the easiest way to go. How to make sure that you have Olama installed. You can just go to this 127001 port is for Olama. If I click this, as you can see here, it says Olama is running because I'm running Olama locally, right? One requirement is fulfilled. And the next one is now you need to, you can install with Docker, meaning that you need to have the Docker installed in your system. I have already installed Docker. If I do Docker here, it will show me something here, meaning that the Docker is installed, right? And the next thing, how you can open the, open the Olama web UI is running this Olama is on your computer, use this command, right? I can copy this. I have already done this, by the way, just to show you here. And if I go to the terminal and if I do control V, it says that, okay, Docker run help. It says error response from daemon conflict. The container name, this is already in use by your container, right? Because it's already in use. So it is showing the error. But now if I go to this local host 3000, so yeah, this is the Olama web UI. Now let's do the same thing that we did before in the terminal in the web UI. From here, we can just go and choose the models we want. I want to go with the Lava latest 4.4 GB. So this model is being selected. And here I can upload the image. I will go here and I will upload this Zuckerbox image. I will open this and ask the same question. Okay, what do you see in this image with the help of wave ui it's quite easier right you can see here it the, the response is quite fast actually in the image there is a man wearing a vr these these things let me ask if it if it knows who is the man right i will say here who is the man right let me see if it if it knows that this is mark Zucker. okay it says the man in the image is facebook ceo mark zuckerberg so it also knows the image you know that this model is quite accurate here now let me do the text recognition also yeah, I can just go here, upload this data science basics logo and I will just open this and I can ask here what is in this image, in this image, let's say like that. And it must show us the data science basics, right? Let me see if it provides or not. Okay, the image shows a person holding what, uh, okay. It goes through the previous one also. VR headset of this, they have this, this, this. And it, because it is now mixing between the previous and this current one. But if I now, let's say, open this one, I will create a new chart and ask in the new chart. Let me close this one. I will go again here, data science basics. I go here and I will say here what is in this image like this and then enter. Model not selected. Okay, I haven't selected the model from here. I will select the lava and then I will upload this. So it, it must, okay, the image features a circular emblem <laughs> with text and a small icon at the top. Okay, it is showing all the information about this particular image.
now you get the idea i i think when you upload two or three different images because it remembers maybe the previous one and it is giving the wrong answers but it's not giving the wrong answers but it is mixing between the two answers but now it's quite there so yeah i hope you you know now how to use the newest multimodal models with olama from the cli and also from the web ui just use the one that that best fits your use case or the best that you want to do if you are a terminal person you can go with the terminal one or if you want the web ui then you can go with the web ui thank you for watching and see you in the next video